Ryan Aber here from the Oklahoman and Oklahoman.com. High above Owen Field, where on Saturday night, Oklahoma blew out Texas Tech 52 to 21. Here's three quick takeaways from the Sooners win. The first one, finally a complete game for the Sooners. For the first time and the only time uh, since their uh, week two uh, blowout over FCS Western Carolina, the Sooners look like a complete team. Offense, defense, clicking on all cylinders uh, there, uh, and, and it really made a difference because uh, this, this, this team has played in a lot of close games, not close today, uh, as they bounced back uh, from last week's disappointing 35-23 to win at Kansas. Uh, the second one has got to be Caleb Williams. Williams has been impressive since taking over that quarterback job, uh, was never more impressive, though, uh, than he was today. Uh, and didn't make the, the plays with his feet that we've seen him make, but took care of it with his arm. Uh, a big day for Caleb Williams, his first 400-yard uh, passing game, six touchdowns, the first time since uh, Kyler Murray in, in 2018 uh, that the Sooners had had a uh, quarterback throw for six touchdowns in a game. Uh, Caleb Williams was fantastic. Uh, and then uh, ending off the defense. The defense got some pieces back. They got... Uh, uh, Jalen Redman uh, on the defensive line. They got uh, DJ Graham uh, at uh, cornerback. They got Delarian Turner yell back at safety. And those guys made a world of difference. Uh, Jalen Redman helped the Sooners set up uh, uh, more pressure than we've seen uh, from them the last few weeks. Uh, really helped Isaiah Thomas be able to be disruptive. Isaiah Thomas got his uh, hands on a couple of passes, uh, batted him down. One of them wound up being an interception. Uh, had a, a, a strip a strip sack on another, recovered it himself. Isaiah Thomas was fantastic. Uh, on, on the back end, the secondary held up much better than we've seen. Still uh, had some issues with some 50-50 balls. Alex Grinch said they needed to get that cleaned up, but they were much better back there. A big piece of that was Key Lawrence moving from safety where he'd started in place of Turner Yell over the last couple of weeks to the cornerback spot. Alex Grinch approached him earlier in the week. He was all on board. He was really good uh, back there at cornerback. That could play the big dividends for the Sooners moving forward. But once again, the Sooners beat Texas Tech 52 to 21. They get a bye week next week, finally, uh, before a tough closing stretch uh, at Baylor, at home against Iowa State, and then finally Bedlam to end the regular season before a potential a Big 12 championship game. We'll be there all the way. You can check out our work every day at Oklahoman.com and every morning in the Oklahoman for the best OU coverage anywhere.